Warning, this content may be hazardous to your opinion. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, and welcome to the Toxic Talk Show. I'm Charles Charlie Charles, and I'm here today with my co-host... Wesley from Toxosaurus. Oh yeah. And today we're going to be discussing what we would want to see in our hypothetical perfect games. I hadn't given this much thought because there's no such thing as a perfect game, so I didn't really have a list. So, so I've just picked out things that would be applicable, I guess, but it still wouldn't apply to mo like a lot of genres. So like my list, stuff from my list wouldn't really go into, say, a first person shooter, for example. Yeah, see, and I've only got one thing in my list that uh, doesn't really fit in with the others, but in a perfect world, I'd say there was like a mode for it, I guess. Fair enough. Well, you, why don't you start us off, Wes? All right. So I, I constructed my list as more of a, like, from top to bottom, like, the second you boot up the game, the second, like, every just uh, down, the, down the list, as it were. So uh, first thing that I think would be the most important for me is just a compelling story. Like, uh, something that sort of drags you in and you feel like you have to see this through to the end, like a game that you can't put down until you know what happens. And uh, one of the games that really did that for me was uh, Heavy Rain by uh, Niantic Dream. It's a PlayStation exclusive game and uh, you play as different characters, a private investigator, a journalist, a dad who lost his son. The The story had me intrigued because you're trying to find the killer, trying to find your son, just all these different aspects leading into the same story. And I had a really great time with that. And then uh, the second thing on my list, it's uh, that you have choices that actually matter to the game, such as, uh, again, Heavy Rain, because there's different endings, and same with Detroit, the different endings and the ability to make those choices and that your choices actually matter. That also helps with the story to me, because then it feels like I'm actually a part of it instead of just sitting here being railroaded into the game. And then the next thing on my list is uh, having intuitive controls, but I couldn't think of a game that really encapsulated that to me, but I did have some games that didn't do that. Like Heavy Rain, again, for instance, I always ended up, I'd walk into the wrong room and I couldn't get out of it because every time I try to walk out, it would keep turning around because the camera angle changing or uh, you have to hold L2, I think, to walk. And then another thing that's really important to me, and it also goes with the compelling story and the choices mattering, is I really like an RPG aspect to a game where you can customize your character, you can level up your stats, you can change your equipment, and that changes like the way you fight, it changes the way you take damage, it changes the way the story's told, and that, that part has always been a really great time to me as well. And then from here, this is the one that I was saying, I don't know if it'll fit, but in a perfect world, I'm going to add it into my perfect game. So uh, I would really like a party mode for when all your friends are coming over, and so you've got like six people over and you want to all just play a game together and have a good time. Something like Super Smash Bros or like Mario Kart and the, just something where everybody can come in everybody can grab a controller and everybody can have a great time playing with each other that's always fun to me because I like when like I have a birthday party like my birthday this year we all just played Smash Bros it was great and then from there on top of that I would also like uh, I would like a good online multiplayer so you can play with friends that can't come over and we come to the last part on my list and again this one isn't important but again if it's in the perfect world I'll splash it into my favorite game uh, I would like really good graphics really helps me with the immersion and it's not necessary for me to get into the story or into the game but good graphics are nice and god of war really did that to me like playing that game it just it looked beautiful just the landscapes on it i could just walk around in that game and obviously kill things still but look around and see all the nice scenery and everything that's in there and so i don't know when when they render it right and it looks that great because i remember when i first booted that game up i couldn't tell when it left the cutscene into the gameplay that's how nice it looked and that's that's about all I got for my list. Uh, I guess we'll let Charlie go, and then we'll have a discussion about these aspects afterwards. Yeah, well, I mean, you covered a lot of the a lot of things that I'd want as well. Intuitive controls is definitely something important. That was one from your list that stuck out especially to me. But something that like the absolute most important part of a perfect game for me is that it is a full game. I don't want to be buying a game with microtransactions. I don't. I, I forgot I, to mention that. <laughs> per personally, I would prefer if there was no DLC at all. You buy the yeah. game, you've got the game, you've got everything, and that's it. The first step in making a perfect game, as far as I'm concerned, is to make a full fucking game. <laughs> 
Don't be trying to nickel and dime me for more cash after I've already spent bent money on the game. If you made a product worth buying, guess what? You shouldn't be incentivizing me to buy stuff in the game. That game is then an incentive for me to buy more of your games in future. That's how it's supposed to work. The next thing that I'd really like would be a varied cast of characters where they're all unique in their own ways. They've all got their own easily recognizable characters, their own traits. They should feel like people. They should be flawed. They should have... They should, they should be people. That's the thing. And they need to grow during the story as well, in my opinion. Like, my perfect example for this would be Final Fantasy X. I make no secret, is my favourite game of all time. But the if you look at the cast in that game, the main cast, you've got so many different characters with distinct personalities, and they all grow during the story. So, like, for example, Waka learns to not be so racist as the story goes on. Lulu sort of has to deal with Chapu. Like, it seems like she sort of moves on a little bit from Chapu as the story progresses. Riku is there for comic relief more than anything, so she doesn't really grow. So a cast of diverse characters that actually have a character um, would be really important to me. And then I want a game that doesn't make it feel like I'm obligated to play it. Like, there are so many games, nowadays at least, where you have to log in every day to get some sort of bonus, where you have to put a certain amount of time in during set windows in order to get certain things. It's like, no. Let me put the game down for six months if I want to and then come back without making me feel like I'm being punished for not playing. But other than that, again, I don't really have that many points because there's never going to be anything even close to a perfect game. But those are certainly some things that I would and wouldn't want in a perfect game. RPG elements would be another thing that I'd, I always love because it gives that it gives the games proper variation and replayability. I love games with a new game plus feature, especially one that you can do infinitely. So it's like, oh, you finished the game, but now you can take everything you've done and start all over again and just cakewalk everything for the lols. I don't know where where to really lead this discussion now. Yeah, I I don't know unless you had anything to nitpick about any of my things then. No, I mean your stuff was all on point. And I agree with it. Um, good sound design would be another thing to add in a perfect game, but I mean. Oh, yeah. A nice soundtrack would be a good addition, also. I could put in the neglected audio when I was thinking about this. So there wasn't really that much discussing to be done, but it is what it is. What would you put in your, fa in your perfect games if you could any put anything in there? Or what wouldn't you want in there? Let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, I've been Charles Charlie Charles. Wesley from Taxosaurus. And we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Peace. Bye. Thank you.